Hey guys, Philip Passmore here, and I'm doing a quick video, this time on creating large cloaking ships. Um, okay, you've all seen, well hopefully, if you're watching this on creating large cloaking ships, you've seen my basic how to make a cloaking ship video. Um, this uses the XYZ, uh, or star pattern, design for the generators. If they're not touching, if the generator patterns do not touch, they all give the same, they all give the boost. It's quite easy to get up to a million um, energy recharge a second using this pattern. I think that's the limitation of the pattern, unfortunately. So here you have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by looks at Eight um, XYZ generator patterns and it creates a large amount of power. Now with this amount of power you can cloak and jam and the idea is to massively increase the power regen and build a ship from there. Now if we go over to my current cloaking battleship <laughs> yes uh, I have spent some time making this and it actually works really well. There, it, I mean it isn't perfect and as you can see it is getting bigger and this ship does have a little bit of battle scarring now. Um, unfortunately I kind of took a gamble on a target and it turned out there was a pirate vessel within firing range. <laughs> Whoops! The issue of course with um, stealth ships are they can't have much in the way of shielding you know it's for power consumption so instead you kind of have to go with a surprise attack and you have to aim to kill on the first pass or at least confuse and cause serious damage so as you can see this is mainly set up for missiles um, I have also included um, savage lasers just out of personal preference more than anything and there are some antimatter cannons just to help lower the shields um, yeah you can actually hide them behind hull because they all clip for your own ship without causing damage so yeah it's actually really simple but what I'm gonna do is because it's a lot easier to just explore and try because I mean this is gonna be so confusing just just to look at this this looks confusing so what I'm gonna do is in the video description you will find five downloads yeah five download links to rapid share and I will include basically this ship but I have saved it at different stages of development so that is this I think that might be stage 2 that was when I started expanding out cores um, power gens from a core if you look over here this is the engines and missiles being added by hand you know it still leaves options for weapons if you just want to be a missile boat or if you want more hull it, you know it's up to you and this is also saved once slightly battle scarred um, mainly missile boat it's actually pretty powerful I've had a lot of fun with this design and yes I mean once you understand how to make a I think, what should I call it yeah, let's call it hedgehogs I mean at the end of the day I don't really want to call it a star pattern or anything the XYZ ship designs yeah okay um, well this is the hedgehog <laughs> and I think I've, I can't remember what I've called this one dreams are for winners huh. not a bad name uh, so yeah essentially the power gens go out in each direction uh, they can't touch of course they can you know outside their own pattern they can't touch otherwise you lose that boost this gives me a power generation of over a million uh, not much over a million but enough I've added power storage because I was having problems with a cloak but that's actually turned out to be performance issues rather than um, a glitch with the game itself so that's something to keep in mind not to go absolutely insane um, yes cloaking ships are risky to use they don't have much more shielding they've got no hull your your core systems are exposed <laughs> I haven't found a way around this and arguably they're ugly um, yeah 
I'm kind of more fond of them if I think of them as as hedgehogs. Maybe I'll flatten off the bottom a bit more and make it spike out to out the top of the ship more. But there we have it. That's how you build a large cloaking ship. It's not easy. Well, actually, it isn't that difficult. It's more making sure you you build it in mind for it to cloak. You know. With a lot of this, it all comes down to you need to build this to cloak. I mean, let's see. Oh, okay, now I'm back on a basic power gen one. I was wondering why I didn't have a million power per second. So, yeah, that was just a very quick demonstration. I will, of course, include all these um, ships in the download link. And yeah, just have fun, guys. Um, cloaking ships are difficult to build. I mean, I'm not going to lie; they're a lot more challenging to build than other ships. And and I can understand it being off-putting, particularly as a lot of people try to retrofit existing ships to cloak, and then you explain to them that it takes, you know, a hundred hundred energy per block just to cloak. And it become they need something stupid like two million power generation, and then they're not going to be able to do it. But yes, they're eyesore. Yeah, go okay, sure they're eyesores. I I admit it. These ships are ugly, but they're going to be cloaked. <laughs> the only time you're going to ever see one of these ships if you're not flying it is if it's a friend who who just uncloaks next to you, or if an enemy. Um, ship uncloaks in front of you or behind you more likely and proceeds to blast you to pieces well at least that's the idea um, if you've got decent shields and heat seeking missiles if you can just cause damage they can lose their cloaking advantage because you know, all it takes is a couple of shots breaking some of these um, lines of generators and this ship will not be able to cloak anymore. So, there's a bit more strategy in actually using these types of ships, but I don't know, I've been enjoying it. The AI can't cope with this at all. The poor AI just gets so confused. So, yeah, check out guys and have fun. If you've got any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and help best I can. Um, if you go, if you just download the the ship designs, and if you look at it at different stages, then it should be self-evident, hopefully. But any questions or yeah, just leave a comment, and I'll try and help the best I can. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. Um, subscribe to my channel for more star-made videos. I will continue to look at building decent um, cloaking vessels because there's a lot of potential here. And this is an awfully fun aspect of the game, if not one of the more challenging building aspects. So once again, thanks for watching guys.